Hello and welcome to this short demonstration video of the uh, Spellbook. The Spellbook is a LFO device for Max for Live. Uh, basically it um, extracts uh, modulation signals from different uh, sacred shapes. Let me choose a few here. So, what happens basically is when the dot moves upward, the Y value increases and as the dot moves to the left, the X value decreases. So it's X minimum, X maximum, Y minimum, Y maximum. And here you have eight outputs. So for instance, uh, if we map, uh, we will use the phaser to have a, a better vi visualization. For instance, here you see uh, X and Y, you see X, Y. And now you can see that this shape here is drawn here. And as we start to spin it, it the dot is having a bit more problems moving correctly according to the symbol, which introduces some interesting uh, modulations. We can use the, let's see, we have the uh, CV tools. We can have a look at the uh, at the different signals. For instance, here we take the X value and map it here to the, and we can see how it, this is basically the output signal. And as we start to spin it, it starts behaving weirdly. And each symbol has it own, its own signature see start to spin a bit come on yeah and then we have the let's see we have the pentagram looks like this septagram so these are all basically pretty unique uh, shapes, well, unique mo modulation signals. I think we will start to see here. This is, let's see, the this one looks a bit like a ramp, which is cool. The Volknut. So that's the basic uh, principle of it. And then we can use this to map to different parameters. So let's say we have the X value on the frequency here. So as the X value uh, decreases, it pulls the filter back. And we can change the range here if we don't want it to go all the way. So now it's only moving within this area here, which is somewhere here. So you see that it doesn't go as deep. And then if we play the sound. <coughs> And then we can use another X, we can invert it and put it on a reverb. So that when the filter goes down, the reverb goes up, which creates a uh, kind of feeling that the object is moving away in a cave or something. Here we can also move the range of the dry wet for the for the reverb. And of course we can map this to any so we want to have it here. Put it on a delay if we want. You can map it to, and then of course you can map it to anything. You can split this signal if you wanted to control this one. You can have this one going here. And you can um, do internal modulations, for instance, here if you want to uh, modulate range. So you see. So now the F delay 
will start to have a bit more of an organic kind of uh, morphing uh, output modulation. And you can uh, modulate the spin. So if you push here, this is a different mode. So now when it's in the uh, outskirts, it's uh, max value and minimum in the middle. So as you see now, that when the dot goes to the sides, the spin frequency is increased and we can flip it so that it starts spinning when it's in the middle. We can have an interesting morphing kind of and of course you can add more if you want um, you can make it go faster Let, let's see here now uh, the frequency for instance here we can make it go faster so it's the same master clock only four times faster eight times faster six if you want and you can have this one, this is the dry wet uh, here. You can make that go faster as well, if you want. Or if you want to go slower, or if you want to go the y-axis, you can flip between whatever you want. And then if you want to add more modulations, let's see. Maybe the phaser. Maybe we want it. So you see here, if I put it at zero, I'm basically moving the dry wet. But then, if I want it to move within a certain range, you can. I mean, you can go crazy. Just modulate anything. Go slower, faster. X, Y, and you can experiment. Uh, here you can flip the, uh, the the global direction if you want. If you want it to go synced to your project, so now uh, it takes uh, four bars for it to go from point to point, and you can change it to one full lap. So it's four bars for one full lap of the shape. And then if you change the shape course you get a different character of the modulation. Yeah, and you can open here and you have, uh, you can offset each output so that they are a bit out of phase from each other which can give interesting, uh, interesting stuff when you're working with drones or whatever and you can also uh, change the spin uh, read speed for each output uh, which basically spins this one faster or slower for each output so it's like multiplied into eight and that's uh, and, and you basically it's an LFO so people who have been using LFOs before uh, will know how it works uh, the cool thing about this particular LFO is basically the uh, that it extracts the shapes uh, or the outputs from this shape uh, which gives uh, unique uh, LFO signals and also we have these uh, interesting ways of reading the value uh, and also that we can uh, have these multipliers which are in uh, sync with each other so they are floating in and out of each other going faster and slower which uh, basically we can uh, I mean you can map this to you have a ma uh, maximum 16 outputs, so you can have one on one channel and you can basically control 16 uh, parameters across 16 different channels if you want. And thus having like one master clock or whatever that's just controlling a lot of frequencies and making your project modulate uh, in unison, kind of like in, it's like a braided modulations uh, you can use it on well wh whatever as you see here any parameter in any effect uh, you can use it on the the attack and decay of a hi-hat or uh, 
uh, as you see here on the filter cutoff, which is common, uh, dry wet, or yeah, there are no limits basically. You can you can modulate any parameter in Ableton basically. You just go crazy with it. So this is the first uh, plugin we make, uh, and we are making more. Uh, there will be a few variations on this idea, and we will develop it and make more versions with more functions. And uh, uh, but I'm very happy with this uh, device, and I hope that uh, it will uh, be inspiring for you. Uh, have fun. <laughs>